Hello. Um, welcome. How are you doing today? It's a dash of beast, though. And we're going to start right away. So please, if you like to join in, feel free to come to sit on a chair or down on a sitting pillow. And please take your time coming down, maybe uh, sitting up on some books. And first of all, I like to introduce myself. I'm Marcel. And I'm not alone here, but uh, Sean is with me also. Sean is up here. Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation. And together we're teaching yoga and awareness-based practice right now. So we're bringing a lot of awareness, awareness into our body today. So if you'd like to join in, feel free to do so. And come to a good sit either on the floor or up in the chair, sit up on something. As we will be sitting for some time, please make sure your sit feels good to you. So find a great sit for yourself. If you have any questions at any point, please feel free Ask. Good. Have any ideas or other things to tell me? Feel free to write. So we're really now coming to a great sit. Breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. And get longer from the hips to the head. Mm, breathing out again. Breathing in. Belly into the chest. And out. And in. Breathe in as deeply as you can into the belly and into the chest. And release. See how this feels using your breath as a beautiful thing. Just using your breath as a beautiful thing. See how much energy this breath brings you. Really calm yourself down here. And as today is, today is Sunday, right? So we're going to do, to do an intention practice. Um, an intention practice is we want to find an intention for ourselves for this yoga lesson. Or if you if you stay for the whole whole thing, so two times forty five minutes, if you stay for the whole practice, the whole practice. So first of all, please close your eyes, sit up straight, straight as you can. And really think about an intention for you. And if something comes to your mind, know that it's the right thing. So an intention might be, oh, I want to get stronger in a certain area of the body. Or I want to 
I want to bring more awareness in a certain part of the body, maybe the shoulders. Or I want to release the shoulders more. I want to release the knees more. I want to be able to sit more straight, maybe. And yeah. I'll give you some minutes. Maybe it's also I want to feel more calmness right now. It's up to you, your choice. <clears throat> it's your choice. As soon as you found something, know that it's the right thing today. Awesome. So slowly bring your arms by your sides. And just lean to the right side right now. Leaning as much as you can. Not really. You can bend as well. Try to bend or lean, keeping your left hips on the floor if you lie to the right or sitting bones onto the floor and leaning to the other side and keeping your right sitting bones on the floor good and then bring your arm up and feel the stretch through the left side body and then other oh, arm up Change the side one more time. Okay. And then from here, let's let's twist again. Bring the right hand to the back. So behind your back. And then twist a little bit to the right. In whatever sit you are right now, but be mindful, don't push yourself too far. But breathe in deep and twist a bit. Sit up straight, get long. Twist. And change the side. Come back to the middle. <clears throat> from there, slowly arc up from the lower spine up. Then round down from the top of the head down. Arcing up from the lower spine up. Round down from the top of the head down. Arcing up, lower spine up. Rounding down, top of the head down, arcing up, spine up, rounding down from the top of the head down, yeah, arcing up, rounding down, 
in the parking lot. From here. Bring your hands, move them forward and backward on your thighs. And feel the warmth. Wow, it's really warm today. It's way warmer than other days, at least at my place. How's it like for you? So I'm almost sweaty. I can't, pr can, cannot move the hands so smoothly. It's kind of like, wow, it's stopping me like glue. <laughs> now moving the shoulders forward and backward. Shoulders forward, backward, down. And forward, backward, down. And again, forward, back, upward, backward and down. So we want to circle the shoulders forward. Upward, back, down, forward, upward, back and down. Good, continue on your own and breathe in deep and get long, sit up straight. Make this with your intention right now, growing. your arms. Release the arms. Sit up straight. How do, does your body feel right now? Does it feel different already? Okay. Let's change it up a little. Let's do our neck, neck shoulder poses right now. So bring the right chin to the right shoulder. Looking over the right side here. Breathing in deep. Breathing out, changing the side, chin to the left, breathing in again. And breathing out, changing the side. Chin to the right shoulder, breathing in as deep as you can, using your breath as a tool here. And breathing out, changing the side. Breathing in deep. Changing the side. Breathing out, changing the side again. does it feel? Good. 
Go in your own rhythm right now. Do what feels good to you right now. Releasing the shoulders as much down as you can. And change one more time. Breathing deep. And come to the middle and release the head down. From here, bring the right half quarter circle to the right right now with the right ear to the right shoulder. Bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Release the shoulders down as much as you can. And breathe in again as deep as you can. And breathing out, changing the side, let your head fall forward, change the side to the left shoulder, left, here to the left, and release the shoulders down as much as you can, bring your chin a little bit back, breathe in deep, ah, breathing out, changing the side, let your head fall forward and circle it to the right. the shoulders down as much as you can and then breathing out changing the side again breathing in and breathing out Right ear to the right shoulder. Okay. And releasing the head forward and down. And lifting the head up. Good. From here, bring your hands up to a somewhat cactus position and draw your hands to the back. So shoulders are coming to the back. Together, we're drawing to the back and we release, and again, we're drawing to the back one, two, three, four, five. Release, release the shoulders down, and we're drawing the shoulders to the back. Good, as much as you can, breathe in deep. Two more times, shoulders to the back. And release, shake your arms, shake your fingers. From here. Bring your fingers forward, vertical, make fists and go up and down with your wrists here. We go five, four, three, two, one, release, shake your wrist, shake your whole arms and come up again. And now circling the thumb forward and connect with the left hand and the right hand or the left arm and the right hand and how do they move and really <laughs> enjoy this kind of like feeling oh what do they, what are they doing what are the other fingers doing right now are they also moving in some kind of way as you're doing this movement yeah so much to explore and then bring the thumb up and change the sign to the back breathe in deep
And release, shake your arms, shake your shoulders. Then bring the right hand up, right arm up, and bring the thumb up and turn it to the outside of your body. Then from there, extend your fingers, grab on with your left hand on the thumb and push into the thumb socket here. Push into the thumb socket from out of the shoulder here. Breathe in deep. One more deep breath. And release. Shake your wrist, shake your fingers. And bring the other arm up. Thumb pointing up and to the side. Grab on with the right hand on the thumb. And again. Feeling a stretch in the thumb socket. So here. Breathe in deep. And release. Shake your arms, shake your fingers, shake your wrists. Good. So. What we're going to do is we are warming up our hands right now. Warming up our hands a little bit. It's already so warm, at least in my place. Warming up the hands and then bringing the hands in front of the eyes. Right just five millimeters away from the, from the eyes. And feel the warmth of your hands on the skin. Then release slowly the hands down on your your eyes, on your skin, and then as the rain would fall down on your face, draw the fingers down and release. Good. Open the eyes again. Bring your hands by the sides. Bring the hands up by your sides. Breathing in deeply, lifting the hands up. Just. 35 degrees or something. Point the palms forward and imagine you like to hug somebody but first of all breathe in deep. Get along from the sitting bones to the top of the head. And with your next breath get longer from the shoulders out to the fingers. Breathing deep. And with your next breath, extend the fingers away from each other. So like this, breathing in deep. Now, with your next breath, imagine that you like to hug the world and do this with your intention of whatever your intention is today. Breathing in de as deep as you can, get long, long, long every part of the body and then breathing out with your intention give yourself a big hug right now smile good job release and change the side change change it up here Good. One of my favorite exercises, this one, the hugging one. Yeah. Then bring the hands up, 
flowing the fingers here and then making fists then again clawing the fingers like a cat and making fists on your rhythm so that feels good to you Shake your wrists, shake your fingers, shake your arms. And from here, twist to the right one more time. Breathing in deep. And then twist to the left one more time. And release this slowly. And at any point, if you like to change your sitting position, you can do so. But now we like to stand up. So be mindfully standing up slowly. Wow. Take your time standing up. Ooh. Stand on in a way that feels good to you. And then slowly start shaking, shaking your feet a little bit, shake them out. As you are sitting for quite some time, take your time, stand up. And from here we start to jump a little bit, just out of the knees maybe first. Just jump out of the knees, release the shoulders, release the neck, release the head. And then maybe jump out of the heels, a little bit more action. leave the ground and release all the muscles that are not used for this jumping motion or the balance in this jumping. Release the head, release the neck, release the shoulders and if any, any, at any time if something starts to hurt please come out of it and just stand straight. I'd like to do that. And then slowly release again. <sighs> release completely. Good. Coming back into a good stance. Great. Yeah, from here, come a little bit forward, place your feet around, hip width apart, and engage from the hips to the shoulders. We create this box. And we shift to the right and then to the left. Okay. And to the right and to the left. And our foot that lifts, lifts automatically. It lifts automatically as we're going to the right and to the left. And we keep this box engaged from the hips to the shoulders. Our head is 
head is also here. An extension of the spine. Good. And go to the right and hold it there. And you can grab around your belly if you like. You can feel how the left side is engaged a lot, a lot. Meanwhile, the right side is softer. Okay. Extend your arms again. And then release, change to the right, uh, left. Good. And belly in and up and release slowly. Or you can also check here, this side, that the right side is engaged a lot, a lot. Meanwhile, the left a little bit less. Good. Release your arms. Whew. And from here we come into wet towel exercise. In a wet towel exercise, you release the arms by our sides. Whew. And we shake the arms to the, to the left and to the right. Left and the right. Uh, but first of all, we engage the knees. Engage the thighs. So we want to have the knees and the thighs engaged a lot. And from there we move with our belly button to the left and to the right. So that we are really feeling something is happening in our upper body right now. And we either look forward to the just straight forward, are we looking to the right and to the left? Kind of keeping the head in the middle between the shoulders. Moving left and right. And you can go either go faster and slower, but keep in mind you want to have the knees stable in one position. And move with the belly button. If you really move with the belly button, it's getting really hard to breathe, to uh, talk at the same point because my or our hands are hitting, the arms are hitting the belly and somewhat pushing the air out of it again. And slowly release, not stopping, but releasing this movement. <sighs> and you probably will feel an impulse going left and right through your body. And if you can feel that impulse, that's where the center of your body lies. And from there, we shift ourselves a little bit forward, the center of the body to the toes. And then we shift ourselves to the left. And to the back, and to the right, and forward again, to the left, to the back, and the right, forward, to the left, to the right, back the right and forward to the right to the back to the left forward and go one more circle here and as soon as you're the next time forward come back down to your heels and start balancing all the weight throughout the feet, distributing all the weight throughout the feet, balancing all the weight throughout the feet equally. So we really want to give some weight to the toes, give some weight to the uh, fun, uh, the, the big toe mount, <laughs> then to the outer, outer edges of the feet, then to the heels. We want to give some weight there. 
Good. And see how that feels. If we start to distribute the weight more and more throughout the feet. How does your body start to feel? How does your knees start to feel? Do you feel lighter maybe? Good. Do this with your intention. As we really ground it down, we're drawing up a lot of energy into our system as we kind of see that we can move in whatever kind of way we want as we root it down because we take, we're having this uh, rootedness that allows us in any, to move in any kind of way that we like. Really focus on this. This is important to have a good stance in your life. Let me quickly check the time. Good. From here, let's let's bring some some space to our hamstrings today. Again, so we bring the right leg forward, the left leg a little bit back. The right leg is stretched, so not completely stretched through, but the knee is protecting your. <laughs> protecting itself, right? So it's not like stretched through completely, but it's a little bit up. And from there, grab onto your hips. And we, the left leg is bent, and we reach forward as far as we can, breathing in deeply. And as soon as we start to round in the lower back, then come up again. Or if the stretch gets too much, of course, then we don't want to go deeper down. And it's not going down like rounded, but we want to hold the straight position here. Exactly. Breathing in deep. Deep as, as deep as you can. Check with your lower spine if the vertebras are sticking out or not. If there are no vertebras sticking out, you can go deeper, but feel your stretch and know if you can go deeper or not. Breathe in deep and come up again. Shake your legs Whew. and change around, other leg forward, bend your back leg and hinge at the hips. deep. <sighs> Breathing in as deep as you can. Get long from the hips to the head. And come up again. Change the side. One more time, each side. You're doing great. And again, bend the back leg and hinge forward. Good. Come up 
again. Oop. Changing the side one last time. Awesome job so far. from the hips to the head. Come up again. Good job. Shake out your legs. Very good job. And let's let's come into Shavasana directly. As or if you like to do a child's um, uh, happy baby pose, pose, happy baby pose, happy baby pose, or maybe windshield wipers, you can do so. Other than that, extend your legs. Toes are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your sides and palms are facing up into the sky. And close your eyes and just be. And as I said, if you want to do windshield wipers or happy baby pose, you can, pose, can do so. And then come back into Shavasana. Close your eyes and just be here for some minutes. Now we'll get you back to your body. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes. And when you're ready, draw the knees in towards your belly and shift yourself towards the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. From there, release all the muscles, all the tension in the shoulders, in the neck, in the tongue, softening your face, softening your whole body. Breathe in deeply and reconnect one more time with your intention for the yoga lessons. And with your next breath, Lift yourself up, come into a final sitting pose. When you're there, bring the hands in front of the heart together. 
honoring your intention, knowing that it will come back when you need more energy, when you need more intention in your life. Release the arms, opening the eyes and welcome back. So I'm Marcel, I'm doing yoga every day on Twitch. If you like to try it, check in from time to time, free, free, feel welcome. If you like to join in, feel welcome too. And I'm not alone here, but I'm joined by Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation. So if you enjoyed this lesson, I'm really, really grateful for that. If you like to check out now the second lesson that it's coming, it's more physical, you're very welcome. If you're leaving, have a wonderful rest of the day. If you're just entering, wow, welcome. We're going to a physical practice right now. And I'm not really sure where we're going, but we have done so much balance in the past. We will go somewhere else, not balance, not balancing, but we will, um, yeah, probably it's always balancing in Wolf, but I think we will go through Warriors today. So if you'd like to join in here, feel free to. Okay. So as we're going more into the physical practice, preparing yourself, sitting down on the floor, sitting up on something, and bring your arms up by your sides, breathe in deep. And breathing out, releasing the arms. And breathing in again, getting long from the sitting ones to the top of the head. And breathing out, releasing. Breathing in again, getting long from the sitting ones to the top of the head. And breathing out, releasing. Breathing in. And breathing out, releasing, breathing in, breathing out, releasing, breathing in, get long from the sitting bones to the top of the head, and release down. Breathing in, get long, 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 and release the arms down, good, good, whew, whew, how did that feel, and we're going into, into cat cow right now, so it's okay from time to time to round your back a lot, if you're doing it with a lot of intention. And we're going low, slowly to the front, come into all fours. And from here, arc from the lower spine slowly up, arcing up, looking forward and rounding down from the top of the head down. And arcing up again from the lower spine upward. Rounding down from the top of the head down. Arcing up from the lower spine upward. Rounding down from the top of the head down. Arcing up from the lower spine up. And from here. Come back into the middle and we shift the hips to the left and to the right. Bend our elbows a little. Go wherever it feels good to you right now. So maybe come completely forward, come completely to the back. The left, the right, release the shoulders, release the neck. Come forward and to the back. Bring your hips over the heels to the left, to the right. to the back, Whew. how does it feel? In the belly, in and up, 
completely forward maybe and just maybe go where you feel your body needs some some movement right now let's go where it feels good to you and maybe if you don't know where to go maybe think about moving like a snake on the floor left or right Some job. And from here, let's come into good alignment again. And we just want to hold the belly and the chest exactly in place where, where we have them right now. Even the shoulders in place where we have them. And then we slowly, slowly shift the, the weight to the left arm. But we keep the belly and the chest and the shoulders exactly at the same place. And we lift the left the right arm up, touch our shoulders and go down again. And again come into a middle, middle space. So balance between the, the, the weight is balanced between the hands. And we slowly engage the belly, the chest, engage the shoulders. And bring the left hand up, grab, go to the right shoulders, say hello there and come down again. Let's go again into the middle, engage the belly, the chest. Right hand to the left shoulders and come down again. Good. Shift yourself to the back. Hips over the knees, hips over the feet. Release the head. And into a child's pose. Variation of a child's pose. Breathing in deep. And come up again. Awesome. So from here, as you have done a lot of table table pose work lately, doing something else, right? So again, here, we want to now, this is optional. If you like to go a little bit harder right now, you can lift your knees up. Other than that, you can do the same thing as before and we go just two times each side. So focus really on the belly and the chest and the shoulders, keeping them as good as you can in place, pushing into the mounts of the fingers here already, coming up with the right hand, touching your shoulders and going down again, but trying to keep the belly and the chest really in place as good as you can. Even if you move a little bit, awesome job. Good. And come down again. Release a little. Do what feels good to you right now in all fours again. Maybe a little bit of cat cow arcing up. Rounding down, Go. moving your head a little bit, releasing the tension in the neck, releasing the tension in the, in the head, and sitting back on your heels, shaking your fingers here today, and interlacing the fingers together. And we are going here for some time, so first of all, just move a little bit here, left and right. How does it feel for you? Then fixing the right arm, grabbing on with the left arm and moving the right arm. And see where you can move your wrist today. So the right arm is not moving, but the left arm is moving right now. And fixing the left arm, grabbing on with the right hand and moving the left. See where you can go. Wait. See where you can go. Awesome. Shake your wrist, shake your fingers, and come forward. Push into the mounts of the fingers a lot, plowing the fingertips. And at any time, at any point, something isn't clear, please ask. So these are the mounts of the fingers. We want to push them down into the floor, clawing the fingers down a lot, a lot. And shifting the hips up into the sky. Get longer from the heart to the hips. And from the heart to the fingers here, 
can move your chest a little bit up so we don't sink down completely here but we're moving the chest up intentionally so that we can find more space in the lower spine. Bend your knees and bring your hips a little bit more up. Good. And from here we want to lift the right leg up. Far, far, far up. Good. And bring it in to your chest. And extend it again, breathing in. Breathing out to the right upper arm. Breathing in to the left upper arm. Breathing in to the chest. Breathing in and out to the right upper arm. To the left upper arm. Breathing in again to the right upper arm, to the left upper arm, to the right upper arm left up arm and back breathing in and bring it to the chest and step forward Whoop. and from here make sure your feet are approximately hip width apart then draw the feet together keeping the front knee or front heel drawing the hips together maybe step in a little bit the hips are somewhat engaged, the glutes are somewhat engaged. Draw the belly in and up and bring your hands up into the sky. Get long from the feet to the top of the head. fingers. Extend your back leg. Awesome job. Warrior one variation. And what we want to do here is just breathe in deep. Get long from the feet up to the fingers. And as you're breathing out, take up more space. And one more time, breathing in. Get long. And breathing out, take up more space. And come forward. Place your back leg down. Extend your feet. Extend the back knee, back leg. And come, draw your feet, feet, foot a little bit back. So we have the hips over the knee and the knees over the heels. And optionally you can put something under the knee if you like. Other than that, if you don't want to do that, come up, engage the butt cheeks, engage the glutes of the left of the knee that is down right now. It's so hot, so hot today, wow. And then your arms up so maybe you're already feeling something in the hip flexor here going down from the hips to the knee if you don't feel anything you can bring your arms up into the sky and really go slowly mindfully leaning to the right if your left knee is down leaning to the right if the right knee is down leaning to the left And then releasing, releasing this, coming down again, bringing your foot a little bit forward. And from there, we're twisting to the left, Whoop. bring the left elbow to the right knee, grab around with the right thumb, around and lift your back fit, foot up. And from here, we want to look over the right shoulders and breathe in deeply. You can pull maybe in a little bit more. And if you can, you can grab around with the index finger pointing down on your feet. Again, bring the shoulders onto the back, looking over the back, lifting yourself more up, more into an upward stance. Awesome job. Looking over the shoulders. Okay. Breathe in deep. And release slowly. Again, you can still have something under the knee. Uh, next position. Bring the foot a little bit forward. A little more forward and draw the knees up and back. 
And now ad additionally, if you have some blocks next to you, that would be good. Or if you have something else to hold on to next to you, you can use that. So I have something to hold on here. Additionally, you can also hold on the hips. And from here, you want to feel again a hamstring stretch. So we can hinge at the hips. Hinge at the hips, not rounding, but hinging at the hips. Check with your lower spine if it's rounded already. Come up to straight position and then hinge forward. Great job. Honor where you are today. Breathing in deeply. And release, come forward again. Good. Place your hands where you are. Shift a little bit forward to feel a stretch. Oh, and now press into the mounts of the fingers. Should bring your left leg up and lift the right leg back. And move a little bit right and left. And downward facing dog is shape. You don't need to go to the full shape right. But feeling how the right leg feels right now, how the left leg feels right now. How does it feel for you? And then slowly bring the left leg up. Bring it to the chest. And extend it, it, breathing in to the left upper arm. Extending to the right upper arm. Extending to the chest. Up. And left upper arm. And right upper arm. Up. Chest, left up arm, right up arm, left up arm, right up arm, and back. And stepping forward right now, bring it to the chest and step forward. Check your feet that they are somewhat hip with distance apart, somewhat. And from there, lift up. Keeping your front knee or the front heel, drawing your butt cheeks together, engaging the glutes, drawing the belly in and up. And bring your hands up into the sky. Good. Breathing in deep. Get long from the hips to the fingers. And again, as you're breathing in, get longer. As you're breathing out, take him up more space. Good. And release slowly down. Good. And place your back knee, flat back knee goes down to the floor. Draw the foot back. Your back foot is flat on the floor. And from here, we have the Hips over the knee and the knee with the heels. And again, we want to engage the butt cheeks right now. So a lot, a lot, butt cheeks engaged. Then the glutes engaged here as well. And you maybe feel already hip flex stretch down. That's great. And again, if you like to put something under your knee, you can do so. Maybe some clothes or something else. Other than that, bring your arms up into the sky. And lean a little bit to the left. Really a little tiny bit leaning to the left. And this increases the hip flexor stretch a lot. Be mindful here. Don't push yourself too hard. And release again. Good. Next thing, bring your foot a little bit forward and twist to the left. Right now, bring your elbow to, yeah, or the hand to the knee. Bring the left arm up with the thumb pointing up. Grab to the back with the thumb pointing up. Lift your back foot up. Grab on to the back foot. And draw in a little bit. Your shoulders are on the back. Looking over the back shoulders. 
Breathing in deep. And lifting your body a little bit more up. If you can draw in enough, you can grab around with the hand so the index finger is pointing down on your foot that you grab on. Good job. Looking over the back. Woo. Trying to lift your body more up. Looking over the back and releasing this. Good job. Woo. Good. Last one here. Bring your foot a little bit forward. Draw the feet, the toes up. And again, if you have something to hold on, maybe some blocks next to you, that's awesome. If you have, or maybe something else, like me, you can bring one hand to the hips. Do you really want to be straight here first? Draw the toes back and then hinge at the hips again. Hinging just at the hips. So not at the lower back, keeping the lower back straight, but hinging at the hips super, super hard. And find a strong stretch in the hamstring here. Breathe in there. Good job. And release. Come forward. Plant your hands down. Rooting them down, stepping your back foot up and bringing your back leg back. And again, coming into downward facing dog right now. Check in with in how does your downward facing dog feel right now. Good. And from here, shift your heels to the left. Shifting your heels to the right. Ooh. And heels to the left. And heels to the right. Heels to the left. Push your hips to the back. You feel a strong stretch through the right side. Breathe in there, and heels to the right side one more time. Find a strong stretch through the left side body. Push into the mounts of the fingers a lot, and release. Bring your knees down, bring the knees to the sides of the mat, big toes together. Sit back on your heels, and down forward, down, knees down. Relax. Hmm. Breathe in deep. Good. Now come up again. Breathe in deep. Push into the mounts of the fingers, shift your hips up into the sky. Look forward between the wrists and slowly start walking up as you're breathing out. Bending your knees and standing up. Bring your hands up into the sky. Your belly in and up. Hands in front of the heart together. Release the arms, shake your wrists, shake your fingers. And jump a little bit, just to relax. So next up, warrior two. And we're going to do some shoulder, shoulder strengthening at the end. And, but now let's, let's go to warrior two. I haven't been there in a long time again. Shifting all the way to the left leg slowly and stepping back with the right leg, turning it 90 degrees. So the front foot is in line with the middle of the back foot. Good. From here, we really want to have the front knee or the front heel. 
If you can't quite manage, you can turn the back foot, back toes a little bit in. So this tiny little bit. And we have our hips kind of opened right now. Really breathe in. Get long. We're kind of at our side, right? Bring your arms by your sides. We look over the front arm. That's where the knee is bent. And we turn the fingers around. Bring the shoulders to the back and bring the fingers around, leaving the shoulders onto the back. Good. And from here, drawing a lot of energy up through the feet to the top of the head. Get long as you're breathing in. With your next breath, get longer from the fingers to the other hand's finger. Good. Engage your back leg, draw the feet together. Look to the back fingers and see if you are in line here. Somewhat in line, right? And then come to a peaceful warrior. So bring the right hand to the thigh, to the, ba the back hand to the thigh and then rounding back. Drawing the belly in and up. Finding a stretch. And then rounding forward again or coming forward again, placing your elbow to the knee, extending from the back foot up to the top of the fingers. Again, long, long, long. The belly in and up. Good. Smile. Bring your shoulders a little bit to the back. Draw the belly in and up a lot, a lot. Ooh. And come up. Good job. And from here we start to straighten the front foot. And maybe step in a little bit as we come into Trikonasana. It's quite a hard pose for me. So what we're doing is we're shifting first at the hips. And how are we shifting at the hips? We bring our arms by our sides and we draw with the arms on one side forward. And by doing this, we are shifting at the hips right now. So one hip is now higher than the other. <laughs> and from there we lean, kind of lean forward, keeping both our sides long is the keyword. Keeping both four sides long, grab on wherever you land with your hand and get long. Keeping both sides long as good as you can. <sighs> Belly in and up and releasing. And wherever you land, right? It's the completely fine to work wherever you land. Not pushing yourself too far as if you push yourself more, you will round here. And that's not one when you want to do. So please come out of it. Shake your feet. How does your body feel? Check in with your body, with your body. And change the side. So shifting all the way to the right foot right now. Stepping back with the left, turning in 90 degrees. So the front foot is in line with the middle of the back foot. Drawing the feet together. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper. So you have almost 90 degrees here. Maybe not almost. It's completely fine if you don't have 90 degrees there. <laughs> Drawing the feet together. <sighs> Keeping the front knee over the front heel. Opening your hips. Bring your hands by the sides. Looking over the front hand. Turning the hands around. Bring the shoulders onto the back. And then turning the hands around again, leaving the shoulders where they are, bring over the front hand. Get long from the back hand to the top of the other hand. Get long from the feet up to the head. And you breathe in. Smile. Feel strong. Drawing the feet a little bit together. 
gives you more stability and from there round to the back peaceful warrior place your back hand on the thigh draw the belly in and up and come forward right elbow to the right knee draw the belly in and up get long from the back foot to the top of the fingers Woo. turn the belly in and up your head is an extension of the spine here so we're not keeping the head like this or down here but keeping the head somewhat in the middle it's an extension of the spine from here release step in a little bit with your back foot and front foot a little straighter and then what we want to do is trikonasana again for me quite a hard pose i think it's a really difficult pose <laughs> even though it's a beginner pose i think still it's a difficult pose bring your arms by your sides and we lean forward with the arms we think somebody's drawing us forward on the arms and from there we feel that our hips are kind of like the back hip is a little bit more more uh, up the front hip a little bit down and from there we reach forward and down and we kind of grab on where we land and we get along so the thing is we want to really have the awareness that our right side body is really long and the left side body is really long both side body is really long this is the important part if you start rounding that's not the pose anymore we want to be in the pose and slowly uncover the essentials the good feeling of it and step forward again shake your feet Whew. how does it feel how does your body feel Awesome chap. Huh. Let's make a little interlude here. So something in between before we come into some final poses. So let's go two times through YTWA. So first bring your arms up over the head, sit back, knees over heels, get long from the hips to the fingers. And then bring your arms by a little bit by your sides, coming into Y. So why are we doing this? Keeping the knees over the heels. Because we love ourselves. If you have still an intention for your lesson, as we didn't take up an intention for the next, for the second lesson, you can go with that. Other than that, we want to love ourselves. Are we doing something for ourselves? Coming to W position. Shoulders are onto the back, knees over heels. And then come to T position, the arms. We love tea. Oh, I love some tea later on. I will make some tea. Hot weather and hot tea is good. Then arms going to the back, knees over heels still. I'm into A position. Arms away as far as you can, breathe in deep. And release, come up, bring your arms up into the sky. <sighs> Breathe in one more time, as deep as you can. And sitting back on your knees, knees over heels. Get long from the hips to the fingers. Trying to melee in and up. Come into Y position. Breathing in deeply. From there, come into a W position. Breathe in deep. Come there, come into T position, arms by your sides, breathe in deep. Arms to the back, away from your body. Again, breathe in deep. Get long from the hips to the top of the head and come up. Good job. Bring your arms up into the sky. 
Bring the hands in front of the heart together. Good job. Whew. So, I, I think you'll leave it at that and we're going to do some more stretches right now and slow down a little. So come down, sit on your back. Come down on your back. Ooh, and lie down. Whoop. Good. From there, place your knees a little bit closer to the bum. Bring your arms up on the elbows. Whew. And fingers pointing upward. Push in a little bit through the elbows and lift your lower back slowly up. The upper back slowly up and shift your shoulders under the upper back. Good. From there, shift your belly up as much as you can. Grab on, be, grab on with your hands behind your back and keeping the knees together. Having an intention in the knees to keep them together, otherwise they fall apart. Breathing in deeply into the belly, into the chest. Looking up into the sky. <sighs> Breathing in deep. Belly into the chest. And releasing slowly down. Vertebra by vertebra down. This is the exercise. We're going slowly down. This is the exercise. Good job. As slow as you can. Release. Breathe in deep. And from here, bring your arms up again. And what we are going to do, you see, shift the hips five centimeters off the ground and then release. This is called knocking and will release a lot of tension in the lower spine. So up and down, up and down, five centimeters up and then release. So muscles engaged and muscles released. And this is done in quick succession. This is also called floor twerking. Floor twerking. What a great name. Releasing the hips down, up and down, five centimeters up and release down. And it should really feel great in the lower back. If it doesn't feel good, then you don't need to do that, right? And release, breathe in deep. And again, five centimeters up and release down. And release completely, extend your feet, extend your arms and get long in the right side body. Then get long in the left side body and long in the right side body and left side body. So right hand and right leg longer and then left leg and left leg long. Left hand and left leg longer, left arm and left leg. Leg longer. So go right and left in your own rhythm. See how that feels to you. Ooh. And release. Good. Yeah. I think we're slowly closing it here. We did a lot of hamstring stretches already, so no need to do any more there right now. So bring your arms between the legs through, grab on be the, on the outside of the edges or with the index finger and the middle finger on the thighs, uh, on the on the big toes <laughs> and come a little bit up with one leg and with the other leg a little bit up with both legs. Whew. Shift yourself a little bit to the left and the right.
and just see if you can give yourself a little bit of a massage on your back throughout the back through the whole back and just be in happy baby pose experience a little bit how how it feels right now and really slowly release the legs down and bring your arms by your side and come to Shavasana so toes are facing away from each other palms are looking up to the sky and just be release Just be, and I will get you back to your body in some minutes. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. And when you're ready, bring the knees in towards your belly. Come back to your body and shift yourself to either the left or the right side of your side body. Coming down to your side body Releasing all the tension, check in with your shoulders, neck, the tongue, softening your whole body, softening your face. And breathe in deeply 
and exhale by doing a sound by <sighs> and keeping it positive so not like it's not the tension to do it like this <sighs> but go like oh soft softly oh good job with your next breath in sit yourself back up into final sitting position through, through the side come up through the side Set up. Bring your hands up in front of the heart. And honoring your yoga practice today. I hope you enjoyed very much. Release the hands, opening the eyes. So, if you like to see more content of me, check out my YouTube. If you like to have, if you have any ideas, suggestions, ideas, questions, or whatever, yeah, <laughs> hit me up over Discord and say hello there. You can write with me directly there. If you, um, yeah. And I appreciate every follow on Twitch. If you have any um, questions, you're also very welcome to just write them in the chat. Say hello in the chat. Um, yeah, have a wonderful rest of the day. Hope to see you again very soon. So I think I'll let the stream running and I will do some um, minor improvements on, on the color temperatures on one camera. I will want to um, try that out. And yeah, after that I will close the stream. If there is, are any questions still about yoga or anything else, feel free to ask. But for now, um, I kind of need to leave the cameras like this and try that out at the same point, at the same time. Yeah. But I let the microphone run at the moment, so you can kind of hear, hear my thinking, I think. And then we're going to close it. We're going to close it slowly. So. Let me check. Thank you so much for being here. Whoop. And doing yoga with me, that's so great. So first of all, let's see. I think I think uh, now the left side is a little bit too bright. I don't know why that it was the other way around yesterday. So let me quickly check yesterday. How it looked yesterday. How it looked yesterday. So yeah, yesterday it was a little bit brighter on the right. Yeah, I should. You know what? I I'm just uh, correcting this on the on the camera right now. Let me let me see. Can I do that right here? Oh, oh no, that's wrong. Yeah, that's the right button. Okay, I quickly go through this. The exposure. I think I, I need to just go here, maybe. And maybe it looks a little better like this. So please focus. Yeah. I think that looks a little better. Just this tiny little bit. 
Now it's like uh, again a little bit brighter on the right, I think. But this, I will leave it like that. I don't think think I need to need to play around that much more. I just leave it like that for the moment. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, we're leaving it here. Have a wonderful rest of the day and we're closing. So have a great, great day. See you very soon. Bye bye.